Hey, what's going on, guys? I've got to tell you, I am enjoying this process. I hope that with every passing video that your confidence in the modding process is going up. All right, in this video, we're going to install the heads-up display portion of this guide. So, as usual, we're going to start with uh, the separator. I'm going to go ahead and copy this here. Copy. Click on the tiny wrench and span over here. Go to create separator. Going to paste it in here and OK. All right, let's start off with a matter of time, a HUD clock widget. The mod adds a widget to the HUD, which displays the current in-game time in two ways, as a picture showing the current time of day and as a clock. Yes, this is very nice. I like this mod a lot. For whatever reason, in open world games, I just like to know the time of day. And it's so much easier looking at this uh, widget instead of constantly opening up your wait menu. Anyways, click on download. We'll go into files. And we're downloading the Alpha 4 version 3. Yes. So let's go and download that. Download it here. Let's install it. Uh, this mod contains a BSA. Do you want to unpack it? No, we do not. And now let's activate it. Better message box controls. This mod lets the player navigate the message boxes with the keyboard. Use left right controls and activate this to select options. Typically A, D, and E. Anyways, this is uh this is good because um, Skyrim was originally um, tailored around a console experience. So this is to uh, accommodate more of a keyboard and mouse type of gameplay. Although, this works well with the controller as well. So let's go ahead and download that, version 1-3. Mod Manager download. Double click to install. Okay. And activate. Immersive HUD, iHUD Special Edition. This mod increases immersion by hiding non-essential HUD elements until needed by Gopher. I really like this guy. He, he makes some decent mods and I like his YouTube channel. I'm currently watching his playthrough of Cyberpunk. Anyways, let's download that. File. Mod Manager download. Download. And let's install it. And we do not want to unpack that VSA, no. All right, Savangard, a Nordic font. Savangard is a custom font created to support a multilingual user base and blends seamlessly into, the Sky into Skyrim's lore. Version 8.9, Nordic font bold. Click on files. 8.9, Nordic font bold. That's the very first one. Mod manager download. Let's install it. And activate it. More HUD Special Edition. This mod displays information about an object that the player is targeting, such as alchemy effects, weight, and complete armor weapon stats without having to pick them up. Uh, version 4.0.05 Beta. Go ahead and install that. Click on Download. Files. And it's right here. The very first one. Mod Manager Download. Download. And double clickety click to install. And we don't want to unpack that BSA, so click no. More HUD Inventory Edition. This mod brings some features from More HUD into the inventory menu. Yet another mod to uh, help bring the whole Skyrim UI interaction into the modern era. Click on Files. And did we want the loose version? Yeah, we want the loose version, so the second one here. Mod Major Download. Download and install it. And finally, oh, right. So now we're going to do undiscovered means unknown map markers. Mod notes this mod changes all undiscovered location markers to a generic icon until you have visited the location. I love the sentiment, it's amazing. But if you played Skyrim a lot, you already know where everything is. <laughs> but you know, this, this is cool. Let's install it. And I believe it's this one, version 211, 2.11, mod manager download, and double click to install, and we got a full mod. So we want only the compass, uh, do you wish for the player location to be uh, marked on the map? Yes. Next. Next. Have you installed Sky UI? Yes. Yes. Have you installed a HUD altering mod? No, I do not have any of these installed. Although my personal playthrough, I love Sky HUD. But anyways, for the for this guy's purposes, no, I do not have any of these installed. Next. Next. 
And we're going to stick to the default here. Next and next. Do you wish for enemies to be visible in the compass? Yes, we do. Next. Next again. Okay. What icon do you wish to use for undiscovered locations? Question mark or an empty rhombus? We're going to go with the empty rhombus. Next. Next. And that's it. Install. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Smaller vanilla cursors SC. This mod shrinks the cursors so the player can actually see what they're clicking on. <laughs> so nice. So nice. We want the small vanilla cur cursor. Here it is. You? The guy she says you don't have to worry about. Okay. <laughs> Let's install it. For my time, we want right. Right, and then install it. All right, I'm going to end the video there. In the next video, we're going to install several um, of these sections together because I'm not going to make a single <laughs> video on just installing the race menu. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video.